so in today's video we will discuss about the activation of T cell as you guys all know in the previous video we discussed about the MHC2 so for example this is the macrophages and in that any pathogen has attack and it will use what MHC2 what is MHC MHC is a protein which basically represent the antigen that will represent always they are having both ability MHC1 and MHC2 but it will represent MHC2 because as you guys all know MHC2 is called the APC which means the antigen representing cell will be there on the MHC2 that we have discussed in the previous video okay so if we talk about the this before that before you can say that um, that we are calling it a self men self men not self known self complex okay after attaching on the antigen on the cell surface it will represent the antigen Pro self complex as you guys all know protein and non self protein and self complex the antigen so that's where the protein has represented antigen that we are calling as that so they activate when the APC is there which means antigen representing cells will be there that will be activated and the macrophages will release a you can say that chemical that will be interleukin 1 after the it will represent the antigen on the MHC2 so the, it will release um, macrophages will release a chemical that is interleukin 1 sorry interleukin 1 interleukin 1 is what interleukin 1 is a chemical which is released by the macrophages and it will do what it will do activate the T cells it will activate the T cells okay and activate and the T cells if we talk about so that is having two sides okay two sides first one the antigen binding site and second one the self binding site okay on the self binding side the core receptor basically attach that is CD4 in cells so this receptor will do what that receptor will read that antigen that receptor will do what that receptor will read that antigen that antigen okay so the T cells receptor that is the TCR which is the T cell receptor or CD4 these are the receptor on the T cells so this receptor will attach to the antigen that first of all it will read the antigen this one antigen and it will attach with the antigen like this for example this is the MHC so here the core receptor receptor will attach with that MHC okay and that will do what that will read the antigen and after reading the antigen the T cell will release one more chemical that will be the interleukin 2 after interleukin 2 the T cells will get multiply okay and T cells will activate the cytotoxic cells okay and they will do what the T cells will multiply more and more Okay, if two T cells are there, so it will multiply and it will become four. So the proliferation or the reprodu reproduction will occur more and more of the T cells. T cells will multiply. And the T cells will do what? It will, T cell will activate B cells and B cells is the B lymphocyte that will make antibody. So this is how the T cells activate and T cells then activate the B cells to make the antibody of that antigen. Okay, what is cytotoxin cells? Cytotoxin cells are the cells which basically release the perforin and the granzyme to the infected cells. For example, this is the cell antigen and this, that is infected one more cell, surrounding cell. So cytotoxin cell will do what? Cytotoxin cell will move towards this infected cell and it will release a uh, uh, you can say that perforin which is that will do what that will do holes in the cell surface and it will release a grain enzyme which is the enzyme okay enzyme and this grain enzyme enzyme will uh, destroy the infected cell so <clears throat> this is called a cell mediated which means uh, 
surround to destroy the surrounding cells okay so that is the mediated response and that is specific between targeted cells will be destroyed by the cytotoxin cells okay and then b lympho b lymph b lymphocytes if we talk about that have to make the antibody so that will tell you guys the one thing b lymphocytes basically divided into the two group first is the plasma cell second is the memory b cells okay plasma cells will do what that will make the antibody generally we say b cell make the antibody of course b cell but which type of the group they make the and which type of cell make the antibody so plasma cell basically make the antibody for mhc2 pathogen that is here okay antibody but the cell will not kill that will make a antibody to kill the antigen not the cell okay and memory b cell do all that will you can say that take the record of the mhc2 antigen the all the record of the mhc2 so this was how the activation of t cell occur and t cell activate the b cell to make the antibody of that antigen to so in mhc2 as you guys all because of mhc2 the antigen will get destroyed not the cell in mhc1 the cell will whole destroyed just because of the granzyme and the perforin so here we are having the mhc2 that will use to make the antibody to activate other cell and then antibody will be occurred so this was about the activation of t cells